Hey guys, it's Zoe here, and today, well, we're gonna be doing what you are told not to do, which is to judge a book by its cover. And by that, I mean the digital book, the book that you can visually see things, movies. <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing movies I have not seen. I mean, what's the point of even going to go see a movie anymore? The trailers summarize all of it anyways. There's a ladybug and it is going to distract me. <laughs> okay, so let's review these movies. This is going to be an honest reaction, real opinions, I might cry, and hashtag not sponsored. We'll start with Netflix. New in January 2023. Perfect. So the first one we're gonna react to and judge is Madoff, the monster of Wall Street. Let's go. You know this story. Bernie Madoff has been arrested. They think it's a story. Who is Bernie Madoff? There is no I already dislike it. It's historical. I watch movies because they're fake. Madoff was the scapegoat for the financial crisis. But Anna uh, I'm already bored, honestly. And a white collar crime. Well, we got jail. Afterwards. A Netflix documentary series. So we already know this one's gonna be. Bleh. It's got a big fat L on it. And the choice he made was he could live with himself. You know what? Let's just skip to the end. People will remember this story. I don't remember this story, that's for sure. The Monster of Wall Street. Well, that was a monster trailer, and I am not looking forward to it. I'm giving that wrong, wrong, wrong. an L. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. I didn't know that was going to be a documentary. I really don't want to react to documentaries. There's only been a couple of documentaries I've liked. Are there really only four movies coming? to Netflix. Okay, here we go, Cowboy. I'm not a big fan of Westerns, so I'm glad to be getting this one out of the way now, instead of waiting till January. Let's go. Oh wait, this is called Copenhagen Cowboy. Ooh, Kofat. I can't understand a word. This is not Western. It was very misleading by its title, so, you know. This is based on a book. Nice music. Vibin'. I still can't understand them at all. That might be because they seem to be like Russian. I like the music though. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm just not vibing with it at all. Okay. A lot of fighting. I don't understand what this is about at all. It lost me in the first 30 seconds. You know what? I'm wondering if they're not speaking English. Could they not be? Okay. I am going to say... Wrong, wrong, wrong. Don't see it. Not very good. Okay, I need some juicy stuff. I need stuff that's already been out so we can actually judge, like, if my review is accurate or not. So let's see. Top movies 2022. We gotta get some juicy stuff. Really offend people. Let's see what's up for Oscars. Why am I still wearing these? These are March 27th. Oh my gosh! Fly, it's a fly. Not the ladybug. Okay. <laughs> so I have a ladybug and a fly in here. That's good to know. Okay, so these came out, this is the 94th, the March 27th, 2022. So these are not recent, but I see Dune on here. And you know what? Let's, let's see the Dune trailer. So I haven't seen the movie. I was supposed to read the book for class. I did not. Oh, we need to react to Megan. Just because it's a funny movie. 
three minutes for an official trailer. You see what I mean? They put the whole freaking thing there. Four, three minutes, ridiculous. Warner Brothers, so you know it's gonna be good. Let's go. There's something happening to me. He looks nothing like the book. There's something awakening in my mind, I can't control it. It's narrated. What did you see? There's love, that's good. There's a crusade coming. I bet they don't end up together. Where's the sandworms? Dream things that happen. <laughs> he looks like, oh my goodness, that fly. Goodness, no. It's a big fly. Why? Why are we still here? Just, Just to suffer. suffer. Every night. <sighs> okay, guys. Ignore the fly. <laughs> Anyways, he looks just like um, Robert Patterson. So this is like Twilight, pretty much. If you like Twilight, you'll probably like Dune. That's my review. Okay. Storms. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box. Oh Dune. my. Oh, it's in the box. It was a very dramatic film. Ugh. I have too much empathy to watch this, I'll be honest. It made me cry. Way too much. Too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Epic fight scenes. Now you must learn to rule others. He's getting a ritual. Oh, I did read the book. How much of it did I read? I don't think I read all of it. I think I read like half of it. Because I do remember some of it. I swear. I read it, didn't I? I don't remember it. It was a big book, I know that. So it's a big movie. This is like The Hunger Games. Did you see that? It was like Twilight and The Hunger Games. Right there. I must not fear. Oh, that's the sandworm. All right, I give that wrong, wrong. a six out of 10. One out of 10 for being accurate to the novel. That was disappointing. And 10 out of 10 for the epic fight scenes. The love was not of that, oh. <laughs> the love was not there enough. So it loses points for that. And the sandworms were too scary. It gave me nightmares. Okay, this is fun. What else can we see? Megan. Let's watch the Megan trailer. Now this isn't out yet either. And I'm sure I will eventually see Megan. I only know about it because Taylor Swift got a song in the trailer. So I hope this is the trailer with the song. I designed Megan to protect Katie from feeling lonely. She will recognize you as her primary user. And when you do that, you're gonna pair with her. Crazy. That's Creepy. Insane, right? oh, don't I look nice, my eyes. This is not Taylor Swift. That's not. I want the Taylor Swift one. I think that's like Billie Eilish. Megan, your goal is to protect Katie from harm, both physical and emotional. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, that's nice how it lined up with the music. I won't let anything harm you. I love her. Megan's not a person, Katie. You don't get to say that. Things that you can play with. So, this is just a Chucky ripoff for girls. What are you doing? Couldn't sleep. Occupational hazard. Got your full attention. Don't! Stop! What the hell was that? Okay, why is there bones cracking when she clearly doesn't have bones? She's a robot. It's unrealistic. The movie is very unrealistic. You should probably run. Have I done something to upset you, Gemma? I know you think you're maximizing your objective function. 
Oh, really? Oh, she can drive. Oh, this is the weird dancey scene. It's made for TikTok. We'd have to shut her down. Jesus Christ, I thought we were friends. I have a new primary user now. Me. I will say, you know, I like crappy horror movies, so. It ranks pretty high. I would give it a 6 out of 10. But better than Doom, so a 6.2 out of 10. Okay, let's react to Amsterdam, because Taylor's in it. Here's my Western. Carol, I don't know what you think you're doing. Excuse me. Oh. Got a dead white man in a box. Try to be optimistic. There's a lot of people in this that are popular. You don't get here without things starting a long time ago. I can't tell if it's a comedy or a drama. We need someone to help us to find the truth. Look at all those people in this. There's Taylor Swift. Alright, I'm going to drum, rank drum, this drum. surprisingly pretty good. Not terrible, not the greatest film, but I would say it's pretty good. And I would recommend not watching it. <laughs> Let's see what other people are saying. 3.6. I'd say that's accurate. Yeah, 3.6. Let's see what it. Simul Taylor. Simul. Simul Taylor sleep. Overstuffed and undernourished. Frantic and meandering. I agree. One big star studded hot of a mess. That is so correct, Roger Elbert. He really nailed it on his head. 6.1 out of 10? Yeah, I agree with that. Pretty accurate. Okay, let's do two more and then we'll wrap it up and be done. <laughs> let's see, best ranked of 2022. So these are like the cream of the crop. I've never heard of any of these. Did movies even come out this year? Let's react to Top Gun, because everyone has opinions about Top Gun. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here did he go. just say here we go too? Here we go. <laughs> this movie was too predictable. In three, two, one. Look at those special effects. Wasted on a bad movie. <laughs> special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Bagman? What the hell kind of mission is this? Way too much flying. I fast forward through all the flying, and the movie was only 30 minutes, and it became really good. Mitchell. Lozanski, aka Iceman. He seems to be. Iceman? <laughs> so we have cheesy one liners. Which I guess is to be expected in a Top Gun movie. You have something left to offer the Navy. With all due respect, sir. Then we're off. Here we go. In three, two, one. Okay. Final review. Drum, drum, drum. What even happened? Did anything happen in the movie? Very boring. Way too much action for the sake of being action. And they were in the planes way too often. So let's see, what do other people think? Oh, I give it a three out of five. No, 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 a three out of 10. But I don't really like Top Gun, so. An 8.4, people liked it better than Amsterdam. People really like this movie, 4.8 out of five. Was Top Gun Maverick any good? Four out of five. Full circle, satisfying, depth and dimension. Oh, I really misunderstood that film. Was it a hit or a flop? It was a success. 
All right, let's do a really good romantic movie. Top movies, 2022 romance movies. Here we go, 27 best romantic movies, 2022 from 17. Okay, marry me. The Marry Me Concert Tour is something you will not want to miss. In 36 hours, superstar Cat Valdez and Grammy-winning Bastion will perform their new song, Marry Me, and exchange vows in front of a streaming audience of 20 million people. That is so 2022. Like, if you told me this was a real story, I'd believe it. <laughs> Charlie, this is once in a lifetime. I've got my daughter tonight. Good, I've got three tickets for tonight. Bring her. Dad, you haven't had any fun since Mom left. Just say yes. What am I doing here? Okay, let's go. We only have five minutes. What's everybody looking at? Nothing. Give me your phone. Cat Valdez's husband to be Christian <gasps> caught cheating with her assistant. Wow. That is crazy. Hold this. I'm told that uh, 20 million people are supposed to watch as we take our vows. They say if you want something different, you have to do something different. Why not? Yes. <laughs> what are the- what? You. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Why would anyone think this is a good idea to encourage? Do you? No, don't do it. Take cat. To be a lawfully wedded wife. That is hilarious. Okay. Okay. That was crazy. Cat Valdez left the guy from the concert, then also married her Uber driver. Yeah, that's funny. I say we offer five thousand dollars and let it all blow over. Or I could stay married to him. Huh? <laughs> I started something. That's my last reaction. Night. If I don't finish it, I'll look crazy. We gotta get out in front of this. Hi. You. Oh. <laughs> You know what? It's not a bad it's movie. Moments. I don't even know her. We both did this. So whether we like it or not, we're in this together. We have to embrace the spontaneity of the moment. I don't want to be the punchline. It's very unrealistic. But you know what? As like trash romance comedies go, it was pretty good. I was surprisingly enjoying it and vibing to it. And... I was sad they didn't end up together. <laughs> Let's see if they actually end up staying married. Well, no, I actually kind of want to see the movie. <laughs> I will be honest, this trailer got me. So I guess we're gonna end it on that note. I'm gonna go watch the movie. Maybe I'll do my own review over. Wait, wait, wait. I have one more movie I have to re uh, react to because this one's coming out very soon. And After Dark, is that it? It's the new After Dark movie. After Dark. Maybe third sequel? The Harry Styles fan fiction um, that became a book and then became a Netflix sh movie. And now they're making another one. And the first one was bad. So I can only assume the next one's also going to be cringe. But I can't remember what it's called. Come on. After. Yes. After we collided. Oh, so there's several movies I haven't seen. I've only seen After. I don't think I've seen After We Collided, After We Fell. And now After Ever After. After Ever After. After Ever Happy is coming out. I hope this is it. Yes, okay, this is it. And this is a good test. So I'll give my review and then we'll know how accurate it is once I've seen the movie. <laughs> How long have you been writing about us? He lived his life for himself. In space. Oh my goodness, this is giving me flashbacks. Doesn't she do like a helicopter date or something? <laughs> I, love you. I remember when they were in college. He does kind of look like Harry. I'm moving from one place to another. One last chance, and I think there's like two other movies after this. It's 
about forgiveness and unconditional love. That is the kind of story after us. No, it's about a narcissistic, toxic relationship. I should just break down why their relationship is so bad. <laughs> and how films, like, perpetuate this idea of love in, like, a fairy tale, but there's always, like, this toxic element to it. <sighs> gonna get me worked up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not gonna watch. I'm just gonna review it now. Bro, bro. Basically, I think it's just as cringy as the first movie with bad dialogue <laughs> and better acting now and better soundtrack and i think that is probably gonna be like a 5 out of 10 or a 2.5 out of 5 and there we have it <sighs> oh it's so nice to review things that you didn't waste two hours watching <laughs> So have you guys seen any of those movies? Did you agree? Did you disagree with me? Are you gonna see any of them now? <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you liked this video and if you want me to do a reaction to After Ever Happy. <laughs> That's all for this video. Till next video, stay awesome. So